Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think we're due for an Isaac run today. Let's take a look at Curse of the Lost. EW3JXQVW. That's pretty good. That's a good seed. I like a seed with a lot of W's in it. Helps us out a lot. Get the streak restarted here. I can't remember. I thought I won the last run. But upon returning, I see that my streak is zero. Mind you, I'm not that salty about losing a streak that was at like one or two anyway. That's just par for the course. You know, that's not even a streak. As far as I don't, I don't even get out of bed for under a 20 streak this day and age. We got a health upgrade early on, which is extremely helpful. And if I remember what it looked like, maybe we can get another one right there. But unfortunately, I don't. Ouija board is uh, it's something. I'm happy to have it. I gotta admit, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Not good enough to uh, embarrass myself trying to sing some Michael Bublé's titular song, Feeling Good. However, uh, you know, I just finished eating a foot-long Subway sandwich. I'm not sponsored by Subway. I have tweeted them about sponsorship, and they've uh, they've ignored my tweets. So you know what? I I'm not gonna hold it against them. I still feel like Subway makes a tasty sandwich at a at a good price. However. Uh, if they don't want to work with me, so be it. I'm still going to eat to their stores until they ban me from uh, doing so because they consider me a brand liability. So yeah, after eating a foot of bread and meat and uh, vegetables, I'm feeling A, pretty good about myself, and uh, B, I've got probably a little bit more than necessary, the micronutrients and macronutrients necessary to fuel a good Isaac run here. Isn't that what Usain Bolt said? He said, uh, before my... Gold medal, oh, we don't need to do that, yeah. Before my gold medal winning uh, 100 meter dash sprint, I ate a foot long sandwich, I believe. I can't get in there, unfortunately. Um, yeah, you know, that just gives you the energy. You, you think it would weigh you down and like create a big bread shaped pit in your stomach, but in actuality, that is exactly what it does and you're a very astute person. But who am I trying to kid? It's not like I'm gonna be uh, competing in the 100 meter dash anytime soon. I feel like as a 26-year-old Canadian, uh, without eh, very much athletic background, I'm probably past my prime, you know? Are there any good runners who get into competitive running in their, uh, in their 40s or 50s? I'm not talking about, you know, finish a half marathon or something like that. I'm talking about, you know, beat the youngsters in their own game. Where's the Rocky Balboa of competitive sprinting? I've never seen it. It doesn't exist, is all I can be led to believe here. Plenty of keys here. This is really good. And we'll be fighting the Widow. I didn't even want to see who it was, because if it was the Haunt, I didn't want to know. Not that the Haunt would be the worst. I'm actually, like, I never thought it would happen. But I think I've revised my my boss power rankings. For real. I think that Fistula, depends whether you have piercing shots or, you know, good damage or not. But uh, I think Fistula might actually be harder to not take damage against than the Haunt is. I'm still, I'm, it's percolating up in the old brain cavity. My existing power rankings, they've worked pretty well for me uh, up to this point. However, uh, it's its possible that I, uh, I might be revising it a little bit, so stay tuned for that, as I'm sure I'll laboriously make that point over the course of the next 200 or so Rebirth runs. <clears throat> Curse of the Unknown does not bother me in this situation. We have one and a half Spirit Hearts, and five Red Heart Capacity. I don't really know... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try to kite these guys. What happened? What happened to the freaking blue ones? They blow. They broke aggro, and they were like, "Oh, he's gonna put down a bomb." The AI so rigorously follows you, and then I put down a bomb, and they're like, "Whoa, shit! We're gonna back up for a minute." Something. Maybe they got caught on a pot or something like that. Anyway, uh, we're fairly destined to get a deal today. I have a Ouija board. Why am I trying to, you know, deke this guy? Um, I'm fairly destined, or fairly likely at least, to get a deal with the devil on this floor. And if we could just ball out of control right off the bat, that'd be good. I know I've had some pretty incredible runs lately, but I would like to have one of them right now as well. Because you'd always, you know, the best time to do anything is right now. Unless it's a chore, in which case, you know, Mark Twain said never put, uh, never do it today. Well, you can put off till tomorrow, and never put off till tomorrow. Well, you can put off till the next day. He's a smart guy. Um... I don't think I want to go to the shop just yet. Not just yet. I'm not super worried about wasting a key, but that is, I guess, the reason that I'm not going to go right now. I'll try to get to Lust in the middle corridor here, just because in the middle corridor... Ah! In the middle corridor, there's a little bit less space uh, for me to miss a shot or cause knockback to fuck it up, you know? It, it's a little riskier because it's a tighter dodge. Bad guess. Well worth it. Yeah, fight a mini boss, pick up a, a pill, and just fart it onto nothing. 
We can use that. No bombs, uh, so, well, I mean, that's my own fault because I used them, but, uh, if I could get some and possibly have a crack at getting to 15 cents, that would be nice. We're on the cellar again, so there is a chance that we'll see one of the bosses that, uh, you know, no pressure, but this is gonna determine where they land in my power rankings. If the haunt runs buck wild on me, then maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll rethink it. I actually would <clears throat> love to go to our item room before we fight the boss here. It can't be too far away, like less than three rooms for sure. And that's like, there's definitely not enough space for us to get a reroll. If we get another reroll, it'll be from uh, buying one from the shop anyway. So I think we should probably set it up like that. And let's look for a secret room, which in all likelihood is gonna be right here. Juicy. Sack of pennies. Uh, we don't have money equals power or anything like that, so it's not particularly strong, but, uh, you know, for the future, for the future of this run, it could be okay. And we do have a boss trap room. Can't do anything with that, and realistically, we'll not be able to do anything with that unless... I can't even think. We, like, with five red hearts, we'd have to get, like, some seriously crazy deals with the devil, like a 1-1-2 one, one, in terms of red heart cost. I still have Spirit Hearts available to myself. X-Ray Goggles is real nice. Will allow us to find a second secret room. And of course the actual secret room. Uh, I'm assuming the second secret room is going to be like up or left of this room right here. And indeed it is. Health up. Okay, that's stupidly good. That's amazing. We have seven Red Heart containers now. Explosive Diarrhea shouldn't be bad. Pretty fly, two pretty flies, oh my god, two health upgrades, a pretty fly, and uh, bad gas as well. Which I will use against the haunt. Uh, I'll try to use it against double little haunts, I guess. I really hope I still have at least like half a spirit heart left. Oh shit. I really hope at least I had one full spirit heart left. I don't want to ruin my deal with the devil chance on the haunt. I'm not revising my power rankings, man. I still think Fistula might have hit me easily at this point as well. Good stuff. Just want You want to stay out of that exact range that I just stupidly put myself in. If you can keep him from going fast, it's like really not a problem. Oh, fuck. You were saying something about me, bitch? Kick the shit out of Fistula, come back for you on dessert. Come back on you for dessert? No, something about that. I'm trying to skirt the line between accidental homoeroticism and, you know, vaguely physical threat. And I don't know if I got it. I'm gonna try experimental treatment. I don't know how it's gonna work. Uh, well, I, know, I mean, I know how it works. And I'll take this because it's deal with the devil precedent and it's HP. Uh, not HP, damage, sorry. And I'll just head down to the next floor, I think. Uh, I feel a lot slower as a result of experimental treatment. And all of my spirit hearts are gone. I think my rate of fire is faster, but I'm definitely a little unhappy with Curse of the Blind here. Makes our D6 a little bit less useful unless we pick up a spacebar item. Shitty passives will will guaranteed uh, will be guaranteed to be picked up and kept. That is not the way that I uh, should have phrased that sentence. It didn't come out quite properly, but that's okay. Not really going to get some good shots in there, so I appreciate that. Hoping for 15 cents sooner rather than later. If we could buy like black candle on this floor, that would that would mean the world to me. And of course, we have X-ray goggles. I was actually going to look for a secret room. I'm glad I didn't. So this is awesome. We can get into our curse room very easily. It would be great to be able to, uh, maybe, well, we'll come back for that one. It would be great to, well, snag a lot of money, yes, but it would be great to snag a guppy item in here. Or just some regular spirit hearts. Or, you know, we could fight some spiders as well. That's the kind of thing that interests you. It's not really uh, tickling my fancy. I don't consider myself much of a, an arachnophile. But uh, if you if you want to be an arachnophile, well, by all means, you know, go, go nuts on it. Got two bombs back here. Those guys are going to keep shooting. Might be able to save a key by coming in here. Or we might be able to spend an awful lot of keys by coming in there. Those, those are the, the two options, aren't they? Really, really hoping we get to the shop soon. A spirit heart pickup. Give me a, a chance at a deal with the devil. Not a good chance, but a chance worth spending, you know, 20% of our current finances on. Don't get hit by the freaking neutral fly. Don't get hit by the freaking neutral fly. Ouija board makes that so annoying. This room sucks, by the way. With low damage, this room it might as well be fucking God or Damarong. 
I did use a bomb offensively. I think if you're if you're in a tight spot, there are worse things to do. Just bait that guy into that. That's going to be easy enough. Maybe we'll get a bomb back. We got two bombs back. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I've made the right decision. Ah! Okay, we're fine. No problems there. It's not a manufactured scream. That is actually the way that I uh, I handle anxiety in my life. My wife, Kate, she loves to... She knows I'm easily startled. She likes to scare me. So I'll be, like, just hanging out. She'll come up behind me and then shout at me. And that's, that's my scream every time. It's just like, ah! And then I just am like, oh, don't do that. <laughs> like, I recover pretty quickly. Okay. I know I said I'd get a spirit heart, but hey, I'm actually really happy we got champion belt there. And I think we'll have a we'll have a pretty decent shot at uh yeah, there we go. At being able to buy the spirit heart anyway. I can pick up those other two pennies, but I'm not that concerned about it. We still have enough money to buy another reroll if we want to. So how do I feel about this curse of the blind floor so far? Smart fly is an awesome pickup. Uh battery is pretty good. Champion's belt is really good, I think. That's that's one of those things that's a little bit of open to interpretation, I suppose, but I, uh, I'm i a fan of it personally. And being able to store rerolls is actually really nice. Oh, this again, man. Bad gas, explosive diarrhea. That's what I was going to say. I knew there was a pretty fly in there somewhere. Explosive diarrhea or bad gas? Explosive diarrhea, I think, actually has the potential to do more damage and, and you know, gain access to other stuff as well. Potentially. Unfortunately, we are going to have to do some backtracking. What was I thinking on that room? Just stood right in the way. We'll let uh, Revenge Fly do what it does. Oh my god, I never should have stood there. That's that's just for dang sure. Even if I take Red Heart damage, I'm not going to sweat it too much. You know, let's keep morale high. I very nearly got hit there. But let's keep morale high and uh, also keep in mind that we only had a 25% chance flat on this floor uh, because we haven't blown up any beggars or anything like that anyway. And we got to deal with the devil in our last opportunity. Still, 25 is a decent percentage. You know, if you, if I asked you to pick a number between 1 and 4 and you got it right, you wouldn't go, wow, that's amazing. You might say, well, that's unlikely. But, uh, you know, 1 out of every 4 times, it should happen. Didn't happen that time, that's okay. We get our 7th HP, and this is just, it's a lot, let's put it that way. What if we try to use explosive diarrhea just to get some just to get some mushrooms here? It did get one pill. It almost got the second mushroom, or it almost got the third mushroom there. We got Are You a Wizard? It's annoying. I'm not gonna deny that, but uh, we're already basically done with this floor anyway. We're way slow relative to where I'd like to be, but that's that's just fine. One only one room left. And if I'd known that this was gonna be our last room, I never would have gone for it. But uh, if ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas, right? One more, one more, there we go. Well, we did get some consumables for it, so I guess I'm not going to be too salty, all things considered. Not the most amazing floor, but all this does is open the door to us for the next floor. And uh, the next floor, much greater chance of a deal with the devil. Even if we don't get one, the floor after that, like, almost guaranteed, as long as we don't take red heart damage. So, I, I like it. Our destiny is within our own hands. We've got a lot of HP to play with here, but we're going to need to pick up some more high damage items if it's going to be reliably useful here. Curse of the Unknown. Oh, that's a good start, I guess. And the shop is actually right down there. It would be awesome to buy a Spirit Heart early here. Ah, it's the arcade, actually. Curse of the Unknown. We have 7 HP. I can't remember how much of it is, uh, like, if it's full or not. So that's a little risky. I'm thinking I blow up this guy first, just to start with. And then I'm hoping, yeah, he drops red hearts. That allows me to see where I'm at in terms of HP, so we divine it a little bit. So we should be at six and a half. Six. Oh, and he paid out. I actually needed a speed upgrade, so that's pretty good. So we were at six, six hard, so we're missing one right now. And I will probably end up playing this blood bank to get what I need to get, unless he pays out right away. So now we're at seven missing one. And we haven't taken red hard damage. Blood banks don't count as red hard damage, curse rooms do. Question that shows up for me uh, oftentimes on Twitter. To the best of my knowledge, curse rooms do count as red heart damage, but uh, blood banks definitely do not. So we're going to be missing a half heart here. Uh, not really that meaningful. I'm 
very concerned about that. <laughs> we almost got hit like four times in there. Uh, I will probably come back and play the Blood Bank in order to play that Judgment more. Because honestly, I could use the HP at this point. For now, let's uh, get some pills. We know that there's good ones in here. Bombs are key is fine. Range up is again fine. Liberty Cap is a trinket that I like to have. It shows up all the damn time, but I'm not going to complain about it too much. I like most of the mushroom items, and uh, getting the compass is nice as well. <clears throat> Guppy's tail. All right, we're making real progress here. This has been an exceptionally good floor uh, to start with. Ooh, I'm an, almost an idiot here. That could be great, and it worked out fantastically, but I wish that the stone chest had been there in the meantime. But what the hell, man? This has been an insanely good start to this floor, and we haven't even seen the potential deal with the devil yet. Uh, we got a guppy item. We got an HP upgrade. We got a speed and range upgrade. We got some pills that upgraded us, and then we got a 1.5 times damage multiplier. And then we get to fight the easiest boss, either this or the husk, the you know one of the easiest bosses for this point in the floor. Insanely good luck, like really just crazy. Uh, little Steven is fine, and you know there's got to be a damper on everything, but. If we fight Krampus, we're, we're either getting Lump of Coal or we're getting at least one random Deal with the Devil item by rerolling Krampus's head at this point. So, that's pretty good. And it's gonna be Lump of Coal. I'll take it, man. Seems like we've been getting a lot more Krampus's head lately, so, uh... I'm not gonna be salty about getting Lump of Coal when we haven't seen it in a little while. Our damage is gonna be so good. And there we go! We took, uh... We took Red Heart damage, but it happened late enough that ended up not mattering at all. Luck down does suck, but... You know, oh, thanks for the free lobster tails, mom, but my carrots are slightly overcooked, you know? I'm not gonna be that guy. Hope we can get to a shop and... Like, if I could buy a black candle so I could have some extra... <laughs> Can't even talk about it. Runs too good. Uh, this, this floor is the stuff of legends, basically. We're picking up amongst the best items in the game. Or at least, you know, things that give us windows to get the best items in the game. I'm surprised that you did not die. I was very proud of my shot there. This is a good room for finding Magic Mushroom on. I gotta, I gotta double down on trying to find Magic Mushroom just because, you know, at this point, this has the potential to be the craziest floor we've ever had. Wow, that's really bad luck. Like, it's been a great floor, but six mushrooms, no payout is kind of ridiculous. I probably should have taken damage there. There's our shop. And shop has Bloody Penny, which is really, really good. Really, really good. No Black Candle, uh, Red Heart, Spirit Heart, Starter Deck, stuff like that. And Dry Baby. Dry Baby's fine, man. Take me in and dry the baby. I think we should use... I'm using bombs like crazy, but... We get a range upgrade and a health upgrade. Yeah, man. Sign me up, Scotty. That's like if you ran like a Star Trek club at your college. You can use that on uh, on club night when you're trying to convince people to go. Sign me up, Scotty. Try that on for size. You think I'm going to make like the easy joke about you being a nerd for being in a Star Wars club? Fuck that, man. Follow your passions. Uh, okay. This is a this is a strange situation. I'm trying to think about what I do here, because I do want to play the Demon Judgment. I don't want to blow it out of proportion. Neither the Judgment nor the Demon Judgment probably... Oh, this boss trap room being here is super important, actually. Um, the uh, Neither of those rooms being here really makes a huge difference right now. Please let me find out if I'm at full HP. Okay, we're not at full HP. We're not at full HP? What I'm thinking is we come down here. Let's assume right now we're at eight. Let's say seven. Six and a half. Six. Get ready for this. Five and a half. Five. Four and a half. Four. Three and a half. Three. So let's just say we're at three right now. Just, just for a baseline kind of measure here. So we're at three. Good, we're definitely not at one, I can tell you that much. Two and a half, two. Okay, we're gonna go very slowly here. I'm assuming that's one and a half, but it's a guess. Okay, that door is still closed. 
One. This is where we should be able to get in. No, okay, so we got a little bit more to go. I got rhymes in my mind embedded like an embryo. I'm assuming that's that's got to be one at worst now. So, okay, we're still above one HP. This is a good sign because we're getting money out of it that we can use in that judgment. So we're still above one HP. We're still above one HP. Prepare for this to take a while, but, you know, these are the indirect kind of analyzing techniques that we have to use here if we want to try this out. There we go. So we're at one HP now. What I think we do is we come back and we pick up all this. And now we we can actually know. 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 6. We're at 6 HP and we just picked up a lot of money. So we come back here and we play this regular judgment. Because he could give me some HP. So we're at 6 HP right now. Keep that in mind. 6 HP. I'm not too worried about the boss right room. 6 HP. Don't let that leave your memory. 6 HP, 6 HP, 7 HP. If there was a better way to do this, I would love to know. It's okay, we're at 7 HP. I want to play the Demon Judgment until we get down to like 4, maybe? Where is he, anyway? Far right here? I could go lower, I could go to like 2. So we're at 7. 6.5. I would like to extinguish these. Good. That's 5.5. Just get that out of here. That's 5. 4.5. Come on. Okay, that's good. 4.5 plus spirit arts. 4. 3.5. Come on, dude. Three. 2.5. And I didn't get a second play. It's two. And there's another bad gas pill. 1.5. One. And he still hasn't paid out. Might as well do something with it. So we got one. I think we have one HP right now. With one HP... I gotta come down to our boss trap room because I didn't think we'd actually find ourselves in this position again, to be honest with you. We have some outs, though. Like, I'm not, we're not even in a bad position, but we have some outs. I could blow up the blood bank, I could blow up the donation machine, either or. I could get some red hearts back here, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna pop a devil card right now. Great floor. I'm trying to make it become even better. You know, like a contract from below payout or something like that. We weren't even close to the HP cap, so, like, those spirit hearts are definitely on display here. Like, they're still working. Come on. Red hearts. Or... Pennies. Or nothing. Nothing at all, huh? Okay, well, let's come back. We'll blow up our donation machine. Sorry, our blood bank. That's good. So, I think we're at one. So, that'd be one and a half. Two and a half. I think we're at two and a half right now, plus the spirit art. So if I end up killing myself via this, well, that's just, it is what it is, right? <laughs> it's been fun. Two and a half. Two. One and a half. You kidding me? Oh my god. One. Half. On a half, he pays out a speed ball, and I'll take it. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth on speed right now. I know we could use this on a big room. It, it'll murder my brain. I, I really don't want to do that. Let's come in here, fill this room full of poop. My thinking is, uh, with Ouija board, we can crush it pretty easily. Decent chance to get some pennies, and by getting these pennies, we can use a uh, bloody penny. and You know, get something. Oh, petrified poop is going to help out a lot here. Um, just don't pick up the pennies in the meantime if we can avoid it. I'm going to have to pick up like one of them, but that's okay. We'll just stand here, and we got the range necessary to shoot all the way down here. We might be able to get back nearly to full HP, plus we're going to get a ton of money in the process here. What a floor, man. This is, uh... I'm actually going to sneak one more there. This has been a very, very interesting floor for synergies and mechanics and all around just good luck. All right, everything's crushed there, so let's get back to full HP or as near as we can get. Very excited by the fact that this actually seemed to work. And we got a lot of money in the process as well. We got full HP? No? 
Now we got full HP. We're gonna stick with Bloody Penny. We got the 49 cents there. That's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, let's buy one of these. All right, we're getting out of here. Should probably grab the uh, world card along the way. So we can use it on the next floor. Took forever, but, you know, I, I can't even begin to do, like, a recap of what we got there. There was Cricket's Body. There was Goat Head. Growth Hormones. Was it Growth Hormones or the other one? Roid Rage, maybe. I forgot. Um, HP. Lots of HP. Lump of Coal. Let's head down to the next floor. Uh, that floor was so long that I actually, like, I'm lost in no man's land here. Curse of the Lost. Well, now I'm... I shouldn't have said Lost, I guess, as it was happening there. I think the world card should counteract Curse of the Lost. That doesn't make the world card too overpowered, I think. It just it gives it a better use. But I guess maybe they like it mechanically that, uh, you know, the only thing they can counteract... Uh, a curse is Black Candle or Degas, making it so you're, like, you're pretty much stuck with the curses one way or the other. Uh, the battery's good. Have I used the D6, like, at all on this run? I haven't needed to, to be honest with you. Like, we're, we're decked out pretty nicely here. Oh, I rerolled something into the Razor Blade, I think, didn't I? Maybe I'm thinking of a different run. It's been a long day. It actually hasn't, really. But I think I'm getting that, uh... Like an insulin drop after eating a foot of bread. Getting that, like, 3 p.m. crash there a little bit. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind going into a double key room. Wouldn't bother me too much. We don't have that many keys, but I'm assuming we'll be able to get some. Even though we did get a luck downgrade. A 4 rune is very inter... Er, not rune, I guess, room. Uh, it's very interesting. It is basically like a reroll that we can use on uh, our item room and any shop items that we've previously purchased. So, I'm gonna try to, and there's keys available on it, which is like, you know, I basically have to use the four room at some point. So what I think we do is we like, come into the shop, no greed. Ah, that's really unfortunate. But if he gives us the steam sale, we can very easily reroll it. Okay, well, <laughs> let's see what we have in our shop, I guess. Actually, with the goat head, we could use it to reroll the deal with the devil as well. So maybe we should just finish the floor and then come back. All right, it's getting a little crazy, mask man. Shouldn't have let you hit me three times. I'm starting to think. Where's my uh, where's my secret rooms? Did we already go into one? But it was not that uh, amazing, so I barely even noticed. Fast enough to get through that the easy way. There's one secret room. All right, red chest a little disappointing there. It happens, it happens. Keys, one key. So that allows us to go to our uh, item room. We haven't been, right? I don't think we've been. And after we go to our item room, we can see if we want to re-roll it. But first, we can engage in standard Isaac practices here. With the goat head, it doesn't really matter. We could even re-roll the, uh, the cube of meat if we want to. But I don't think I want to. I really like having like one orbital, man. Like, one, one offensive orbital, I should say. Especially if we end up actually being able to get, like, permanent Polaroid invincibility. Oh, come on. It's like the worst floor to have a four room. Rune, runum. <laughs> it's the worst floor to have a, a four room on. It just doesn't help us at all. Mind you, that being said, we got Spirit Hearts and HP back. So I'm not going to sweat it too hard, I guess. And at the very least, it's a room that we paid, like, two keys to get in. And it's got three keys on it. So I guess, you know, I can't be that mad about it. But first, let's try to find our item room just to determine if we want to reroll it because it's completely likely that, completely plausible at least, that we actually just like what's in the room to begin with. Well, not necessarily loving uh, the implications of this so far. Where the heck is our item room? The worst implication or the worst possible consequence is I've already been to our item room and I've forgotten. Please, no. Uh. I guess we have not been down here. Please border our item room. That's all I ask. Two wall masters down, and now we just got the keepers. Oh my god. Have we been to the left here? I, I get so confused with the intersections with like big rooms. Apparently we have. We haven't been down here though. Okay. Well, we'll just fight the same boss we fought on the last floor. It doesn't really feel like it should be a boss, but uh, that's fine as well. 69 cents. Had to pick it up right now to make sure we were at the lucky number. I can go to that cursed room. 
It's not like our secret room's gonna be here, so... I think I can absolutely justify it. And there's the orbital already doing good work. And another cursed room that's not that particularly amazing. Not gonna complain. You know, we had pretty stellar floor last time, that being said. I'm just calling it like I see it, and that cursed room kinda sucked. I saw jack shit in that cursed room. Well, I saw spiders, which is actually worse than jack shit. Yeah, okay, that's something I'm more excited about. So, Ipecac, I love. Why didn't I use the four rune? Room, uh... <laughs> At this point, I don't know if my brain is deliberately doing that. Uh, mostly just to, uh... Mostly just to do it, like... We were already there, so I figured we'd just do it once, and then we'd do it twice, and if it didn't work out, then, uh... Then that's fine, too. We would then go back and use the four room, and it would be fine, but... Start cracking these open. It would have been great if I accidentally somehow rerolled the d6 there. Like, inside of the golden chest was Guppy's head, or sorry, uh, Tammy's head, and then I picked it up and accidentally rerolled the shit out of the d6. That would have been disappointing, but honestly, the fact that it's given us Ipecac already uh, pretty much cements this as, as a likely win, at the very least. Where the heck are these shots going? Over the moon here. Uh, we should blow up the skulls, I guess. That's a problem we're gonna have to worry about. Like, we have some pretty crazy range right now. Alright, down to the next floor. Nothing can stop me on this one, I think. <laughs> Except death by old age, because we're at like 28 minutes. That's not that crazy, I guess. But a little slower than I'd necessarily like. What? How am I supposed to land these shots? I gotta take like a huge diagonal at it. I might just have to use bombs. Like, our range might be too high with Ipecac. For that room, anyway. Come on, uh, Guppy's head? No, we already had Guppy's head, didn't we? Look at this speed down that I have to do on myself here. I gotta push this, like, all the way into the fucking corner and abuse Pythagoras' theorem. Well, I've already done it. I've already used my key there. We might as well just try that out. Child's Heart isn't what I want, but that's alright. We know now. It might be super difficult for us to hit enemies with Ipecac like this. Like, I can hit them directly, but... I don't think I'm gonna get too much ambient damage in here. Shovel sucks, man, but maybe... If it was not a Stoma, we'd be a little bit more excited about it, I guess. Odd Mushroom? I'll take it, yeah. Our HP is a little ridiculous right now, but... Could be worse, obviously. I guess I'm... I'm thinking that Bloody Penny is probably not gonna... Fuck us here. We should be able to turn this one into an HP upgrade or a... An IV bag. Either way, we're gonna be at full HP, or at least close to it. We barely got the full HP, so I shouldn't have been so cocky. And uh, it's a little bit more money, but unfortunately, I am out of keys, so a little bit of an irresponsible decision there, you could argue. Shot speed is kind of crazy as well, so we gotta be very careful about the fact that, in all likelihood, I'm probably gonna end up hitting myself a decent amount here. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> No way I'm getting away from that damage, or that damage, apparently. We have goat head, so it doesn't really matter if I hit myself. At least that's that's my perception of it. Come on, one spider, like, wedged in there. Is there... Can I get range downgrades? Yeah, like, we need, like, number one or something like that. Like, 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 apparently is the new number one word in my vocabulary. Let's make our way out of here. Um... Like, our ideal setup right now is basically really strong, really large enemies. We're actually weak against weak enemies. This is great. On Susrun allows us to keep our, um, our world card. Not that there's a meaningful difference between the two that I can think of, at least. I guess, like, if we've already got a decent card, why don't we just get the hell out of here? Could have spent, like, ten minutes there. Yeah, this is, this is a very strange Ipecac run. Normally, you, you try to hit them with the bomb, but... It's not such a big deal if the bomb just sort of lands near them. This is one where we've pretty much got to land direct hits. Alright, the shop. Let me go to the shop. We got the money to make uh, all the girlies say, Oh! I don't know anything about... What girls like. Uh, come on. Well, yeah, we'll separate them. That's a good start. No keys, huh? No keys. There's something really satisfying about that room that was completely ruined by the fact that the last enemy didn't die in one hit. 
But it was it was almost like a you know, like a popping video or something like that. Oh, here we go. We got a Skype message. Oh, I bet it's something important. Oh, you know, I don't even need to see it, but I'm going to do it anyway. Is there a rule? This is Alpaca Patrol. Is there a rule about how heavy you can be as a goaltender in hockey? To the best of my knowledge, no, there's not, Rob. I see you, uh, the uh, classic schoolyard strategy of just pick the largest person there and make them your goalie uh, has uh, not passed you by. I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if any major uh, NHL general manager has ever entertained the thought, but uh, if they if they ever do, perhaps uh, you know you you'll be credited as a visionary within the industry. I don't think that that's a viable strategy. Maybe if you were like super large. I don't mean this in an insulting way. If you were super large, you might have an advantage. If you were just like overweight, I think the conditioning is not going to be nice to you. I mean, you could get there at some point, but then you're probably not going to be like super large at that point, you know? It's going to be a... I think that probably the people that have trained their entire lives uh, to, to be goaltenders probably know what to do. One thing's for sure, it's probably something that's at least more conceivable to do in hockey than it would be in soccer slash football. We're just going to sit here and wait for this donation machine to tick up a little bit. If we can cross 500, that would be, like, pretty amazing. I wouldn't have considered that that would be likely after we got down to, like, 80 a month ago. And there we go, 500. So we're well on our way back to 999. I'm, I'm like, 80% sure, or 80% confident, I should say, that you're probably not going to need to be at 999 for the expansion to be in, like, the best position to grab items. Uh, like, I don't know if there will be any new items that are gated by the donation machine, but why not at least, you know, put ourselves in the best position to handle it one way or the other, right? Alright, uh, how many guppy items do we have? Just the head that we re-rolled into the razor blade? Was that even this run, or am I having, like, nom flashbacks? Shouldn't use nom flashbacks as, like, a shortcut for a joke, man. People fucking lived that shit. Not just, you know, the soldiers either, but the people that lived in Vietnam. Oh my fucking god, here comes a two and a half hour long discussion about whether or not there is a maximum size that you can be as a goalkeeper in hockey. Anyway, Demon Baby. I think Demon Baby's not quite good enough. Not quite good enough. We definitely did not have Guppy's head on this run then. I seem to be confused. We'll head down to the next, oh we can take one black card. Then we'll head down to the next floor. We have one guppy, no, we have guppy's tail, right? Like, we've seen an awful lot of, uh, of golden chests. Curse of the, are you fucking kidding me? I've had this world card forever, and yet, uh, can't seem to get rid of it. Maybe that's a good thing. I wouldn't mind using it on the next floor. Usually, you know, Utero 2 ends up being, like, this floor that nobody ever, uh, you know, uses important cards on. You're holding them for the cathedral instead. I know, uh, I should probably get that money. I don't have a great excuse not to. I don't even have a good excuse not to. Well, unless you consider laziness a good excuse, which to some extent I do, but I've already talked about that ad nauseum, so let's not worry about it. Let's take an inventory of this run. Are we going to win? Probably say, like, you know, Nate Silver would predict, like, a 90, 92% chance of yes. Um, how does it go wrong? We hit ourselves too many times with Ipecac. How does it go right? Pretty easily. Ipecac does a ton of damage. We've got a lot of HP, and we've got a trinket that benefits us uh, when it comes to making more HP. And we have uh, the goat heads. So we got one more guaranteed deal with the devil. I would classify all those as, as worth something. I can't hit. I can't hit this. It can't be hit. Just gonna have to put a bomb down, and I guess if I would really want to blow it up. I don't want to open that golden chest. I would really like the ability to fly. Like, that would pretty much seal the deal. Let's try to take two full rerolls into our deal with the devil. That could help. And we got one spirit heart here. Probably need to use an. I guess I don't mind using a bomb to open it up. And then, of course, as soon as I put down a bomb, it turns out we don't need a bomb to open it up. Turns out, right, the spirit hearts are not going to help us at all now that I think about it. 
perfect position. Ah! We did get hit, but we black beamed the shit out of his friend. Which sounds sexual, but is? We don't have to worry about half hearts, stuff like that. Remember, we have Maggie's bow, and I guess that's another thing that's a huge help for us. Maggie's bow, in addition to Bloody Penny, is going to make it very, very difficult for us to for us to lose. Just, just hurt me. You know what? Just shoot the poop and hurt me. That's fine. I don't want to sit there and wait for little Steven to take care of it. Well, it's our second secret room. Mm, could be good. Explosive diarrhea range up. Yeah, let's take another range upgrade. So that every time we shoot, our tears just never land. They just reach escape velocity and then uh, travel through outside of our solar system. Bombs are key. Followed by some bombs. That's actually a nice happy medium. All right, Daddy Long Legs is actually a very easy boss for us to be facing right now, so I'm very happy. Extra damage is nice. The speed is probably a little overkill. I'll take it. It turns us into Guppy. Let me let me be straight with you. We're turning a guaranteed one run into a run that has a much better chance of failing, but also a much better chance of being super cool. I guess I don't really want to go to anything down there. Um, so we're gonna have we're gonna have friendly flies right now, and we're also gonna have nine lives. And I kind of you know I'm always I'm always saying, oh, we could beat uh, Blue Baby on one HP. This is why I love nine lives. We can beat Blue Baby on one HP. He says, well, he has like seven HP, right? So I kind of figure, let's put our money where our mouth is. I truly believe it. It's not like one of those situations where someone's like, you know, oh, our uh, our chemical is completely safe, and they're like, well, would you drink a glass of it? And they're like, no, you, I'm not stupid. Are you kidding me? Let's do it, man. Northern Line, you're always talking about how awesome Ipecac is, how awesome nine lives is. Why don't you fucking nut up or shut up? I will neither nut up nor shut up, friends. Let's do this. Shoot the J. Range is a little higher. It's easy to forget, man. Oh, actually, it's not actually easy to forget because I won't let you. But we beat the Lost with Ipecac. You can't get hit at all. Although I think I did get hit once, but I had Guppy's Collar. But that doesn't nullify your Lost victory. No, no way, no how. Let's head up to the next floor. Um, but I also, to be fair, I had Shielded Tears as well, which makes that run substantially harder. But somehow, even while I was doing it, I was like, oh, Shielded Tears, awesome. I'll try it once. Didn't work out. It was only later that I was like, oh shit, Shielded Tears, I should have been dead. It's really, yeah, it's the flies. Our Ipecac shots do decent amounts of damage, but it makes it look like they're fucking, you know, base damage, shoot the whoop or something like that. Once we actually get uh, the real damage from our flies. And the, the Guardian Fly doesn't hurt either. At this point, it doesn't really matter to me if I, uh, if I take damage and, you know... Well, now it does, because I have an extra Spirit Heart and there's a Tinted Rock there. Oh, and HP ups. One HP up. Gotta take those range ups, man. I was feeling a little self-conscious. Well, I guess, thank God I have an actual bomb here. Small rock would be nice. More spirit arts is, is probably actually more meaningful, if I'm being honest. So, I'll take it. Flies? Thank you. Alright, now we'll get a chance to see how much damage our flies really do here. I was gonna say I don't really care how, if I die, because I'm already at 1 HP anyway. But, you know, from a, like, health or life management standpoint, we should... Try to not die. That would be helpful. That'll do it right there. Very easy fight, and uh, there should be no risk of death here. I mean, death, yes. There should be no risk of loss. And no chest is awesome. We'll pop this just to see where our secret rooms are in advance. Isaac's heart, no. Sorry to tell you. Oh, chocolate milk? Absolutely, man. Takes forever to charge a shot. But then look at it once it's done. It's beautiful. So we'll take the tears upgrade, we'll re-roll these. Uh, Unicorn Stump is interesting, but we'll re-roll both of these as well. Although, actually, together they're kind of cool, but I'm going to re-roll them anyway. Which is, this is basically what I wanted. Money equals power. Um, so let's... Whoa, that did no damage to you somehow. Uh, let's come to our secret room, or, and by secret room I mean curse room. I'll take it. Keeps us at a half heart interval. I don't understand. How are those shots apparently dealing zero damage? Maybe they're invincible for a second? Or maybe like a, a part of them is hitting that is not actually doing damage? This is freaking me out though. Remember, uh, half hearts become full hearts because of Maggie's bow. Like it's like our shots are so big that Ipecac is actually not doing damage. 
and the only thing doing damage is the flies that result from Ipecac. This is, it's very weird. That was not a good way to take damage. But that's, I mean, we're going to win. I'm just very confused about what's actually happening on this run right now, because from my perception right now, the Ipecac shots are exploding. Uh, they are dealing damage. It just maybe looks like they're not. Maybe because they're so large, they're actually hitting the ground faster than I expected. Like they're hitting just in front of the target or something. I don't know, but we're done with this one. That was a very strange one at the end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.